Can meditation enhance intimacy in relationships? What is the relationship between sexuality and self-esteem? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Meditation can help enhance intimacy in relationships by reducing stress and anxiety, which in turn can improve communication and emotional connection between partners. Sexuality and self-esteem are interconnected. Healthy self-esteem can improve sexual life as increased self-confidence and positive body image contribute to sexual satisfaction. Conversely, Sexual problems can impact self-esteem. Aphrodisiac foods throughout history, certain foods have been attributed with the ability to increase sexual desire. Some examples include oysters, chocolate, and asparagus. Although there is no solid scientific evidence supporting these effects, belief in aphrodisiac foods remains common. Antiquity of prostitution. Prostitution is one of the oldest professions in the world and can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Sumeria and Greece. The association between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. Benefits of self-exploration, sexual self-exploration, or masturbation, is a healthy way to learn about one's body and discover what brings pleasure. It can also help relieve stress and improve sexual function. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Cooking skills. Knowing how to cook and showing an interest in preparing delicious meals can be a pleasant surprise for many women. Courtesy and respect. Mutual respect and courtesy are essential in a relationship. Treating others with respect and consideration is often seen as attractive. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. Diversity of fantasies. Each person has unique sexual fantasies. Some are attracted to the idea of threesomes, while others may fantasize about domination or submission scenarios. Diversity of sexual orientations. Sexual orientation is diverse and goes beyond heterosexuality. It includes orientations such as homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many others. Each person has their own unique orientation. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. Emotional support. Offering emotional support and being a good listener can be very attractive to many women. Female ejaculation, or squirting, has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Sexual fantasies are a normal part of human sexuality. They can range from romantic situations to bolder and more experimental encounters. The fear of oral sex, known as patholophobia, is a condition in which a person experiences intense and irrational fear of oral sex. It can be treated with therapy. Hypersexuality is a condition in which a person experiences a significant increase in sexual desire. It can be debilitating and requires treatment if negatively affecting someone's life. History of condoms. 
Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Rome, where they were made from animal intestines. Today, modern condoms are made of latex or polyurethane and are an effective means of protecting against STIs and unwanted pregnancies. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. The influence of pornography on expectations. Pornography can influence sexual expectations. It's important to remember that pornography is a fictional representation of sexuality and should not be seen as a standard for real sexual life. Integrity and honesty. Honesty and integrity are qualities that many people find attractive in a partner. Reliability and transparency are valued in a relationship. Sexual toys in antiquity. Sexual toys have a long history. Ancient dildos and vibrators dating back thousands of years have been found in different cultures. Relationship. Between depression and decreased sexual desire, depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Sexual Motivations, the University of Texas, conducted research identifying 237 different motivations for having sex. Interestingly, having children and relieving tension are no longer the main reasons. Other motivations include getting closer to God, burning calories, returning a favor, changing the topic of conversation, and even getting rid of a headache. This study demonstrates that human sexual motivations are extremely complex. Smell and attraction. The sense of smell can influence sexual attraction. A person's natural scent, their pheromones, may play a role in sexual chemistry and attraction. Female orgasm and the clitoris. The clitoris is a highly sensitive organ that plays a central role in the female orgasm. Direct stimulation of the clitoris is key for many women to achieve orgasm. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. The pleasure of hugs. Hugs are a form of physical contact that releases oxytocin, the so-called love hormone. Hugs can increase intimacy and sexual desire in a relationship. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Respect for personal values. Showing respect for the partner's personal values and beliefs is essential for a successful relationship. Sex in the elderly. Sexuality in old age is an important part of life for many older individuals. Older couples can continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Tantric sex is a practice that focuses on emotional connection and deep intimacy. It emphasizes control of arousal and can lead to prolonged and satisfying sexual experiences. Sex and aging, as people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. 
as we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.